Forget the no pain, no gain workout mantra. The latest fitness trend is exercise that is gentle and energizing rather than aggressive and intense. That's right. And here to show us her grace plus gusto barefoot workout is fitness pro Alan Barrett. It's great to have you with us, Alan, again. It's great to be here. So these exercises are not overwhelming. Anybody can do this. Right. They're for all levels, and they're about invigorating the body so you don't irritate it. And it's a really big difference. You want it to feel good while you work out. Now, this is a growing trend. I think so. I mean, I think the fitness industry is kind of splitting in two. There's really intense, mm -hmm. painful, do or die stuff and then there's stuff that's about nurturing and bringing the body into balance and that's what Grace and Gusto is. And there's the video right there we should point out that Sonia is in the back there in the pink. Hi yeah. buddy Sonia Bag Daddy working out with you. Well that's pretty yeah. cool. Uh, tell me a little bit about the benefits of all this. Well I think the first thing is better energy. Mm -hmm. You don't feel depleted after you work out. A lot of people work out and they can barely make it through the rest of their day. They're sore. They can't drive their car. Uh, that's not the result of Grace and Gusto. So better energy. I think better posture. Better breathing. De-stressing. I think there's a lot of weight loss once you get doing it maybe a week or two weeks. You can start to see weight loss. Tighter muscles. I think for women it flatters the female physique because you have these big long movements that create a longer look and um, longer leaner look yeah the illusion of length mm -hmm. the illusion of height and um, so I think and it adds grace and gusto like the title isn't a joke like I really think that those two things are part of wellness you know having grace and having a little like chutzpah to your energy so yeah. Now, Ellen, how often should we be doing a workout like this? I think you could do this every day really safely, but um, because people have busy lives, I think if you can do it three or four times a week, it's great, too. Of course, and watch your diet. Watch yeah, what and you're watch eating. your diet, drink food, a lot of water. Yeah, food control, all that. Yeah, I mean, I think it's completely, exercise is one slice, and there's diet, and there's also sleep, and there's also your attitude. And I like to think that the Grace and Gusto workout does tap into attitude a little bit. Hopefully, you feel good about yourself, and you'll take that into the rest of your world and I think that's important. And right. where'd you come up with this idea? You know, I've been teaching fitness for so long and it just evolves uh -huh. and I, I, I'm getting older and I just think, you know, what's really valuable to me is shifted. I mean, I think it's important to feel good about yourself and to have energy and I think I had in my 20s so much energy and I took it for granted and now I'm like, oh, I need to actually, actually like create it. I can't ruin it. You know, I can't use it all up at once. So I wanted to find a workout that actually gave me energy, which is such a crazy concept, but it's true. Okay, are we ready to work out? Yeah, I think let's so. do, it. do it. Okay. All right. So let's just start standing with your heels together, toes slightly turned out. Okay. This workout is done barefoot, and it's also done a little bit um, with a ballet flare turned out, little, little turned out, nice and easy. Abs in, shoulders down and back. Heart center lifted nice and tall, arms out to the side, and let's step, giant step to the side, and then reach up, other way. Down and reach, down and reach. Good, so staying nice and tall, ear, shoulders, hips stacked. And then when you reach, you push the opposite arm down, so you feel that nice length through the side body. Nice, Jocelyn, <laughs> take it out. And in. let's do two more. Oh now, yeah, I I'm feeling it. One more. Good, now stay right here and releve. releve. Tiptoes and reach. Just reach this and is, reach. This is called releve? This is called the releve, or you could just say tiptoe. <laughs> and this is a ballet uh, Why are we doing it barefoot? Term, right? Well, when you're barefoot, there's no cheating. You're using <laughs> your real body, and your muscles have to activate, so it becomes a little bit more core. Okay. Good, last four. Now let's mix this up. Touch the ground, touch the sky. So down, up, oh. down, and up. <laughs> this works your glutes and your core. Down and up, down and up. Nice job. Beautiful, let's do four more here. Four and up. You gotta keep Three. your balance. You gotta keep your balance. You gotta know where you are. Now step it wide, let's tap in horseshoe. Okay. It's down, tap, tap, good, nice. So point your toe. Another reason for being barefoot is that you can fully express your foot, which makes you use muscles that activate all the way up to the hips. Good, tap and tap, beautiful. So really point, feel your kneecap pull up as you point. 
good, Teresa. All right. I gotta keep breathing. Keep breathing. That's important. We're getting warmer here. Yes. <laughs> now four more, we're gonna plant our feet and do a little plie and a circle with our arms. So here we go, down and around. Down, around. Down, around. Good, now speaking of breathing, we exhale at the bottom, inhale at the top. Good, exhale and up. Exhale and up. Good. And we have about a minute left. Yeah. I sure hope people at home are, are following this with us. Along One with more us. circle. Let's now just bring the arms back out to elegant arms. Plie down. Pick up your heels. Right, left. Right, left. Beautiful. Now rotate the palms up and down. It's up and down. Up and down. Good. Now both heels together. Keep the arms up and down. Oh, that one's hard. Up and down. This is working the glutes, working the Ooh. core. Up and down. Last two. Now hold it up there. Drop the hips down a little lower. Ooh. You got it. Ooh, yeah, we got it. Awesome. Hold, hold, hold for four and three. Awesome. Let's take the hands to the thighs, flat back. And then tuck the tailbone, roll up. One more time, flat back. Tuck the tailbone and roll All up. All right, Ellen, we are just about out of time. Beautiful. But we want to thank you so much for being here. We're going to continue welcome. exercising, but of course, you can find all the information on WTNH.com.